Hey. Okay, so today I'm going to do a little like pick a crystal reading and it's going to be fairly in depth for each group. And we're going to answer the question, what would they like to say to you but they can't? Or what would they like to say to you but they aren't? For whatever reason. And, and we're going to find out a little bit about why they aren't saying what they would like to be saying or what you're probably picking up on that they're not saying something. So it's going to be like, think of a person, it doesn't have to be a love person or it could be someone you're not with currently or you're in separation with or something like that, but think of someone while you choose this, um, the crystal and then the message our channel will be about your connection with them and will be about yeah, a little bit of what they're going through and perhaps they're not sharing with you. So we'll see what comes out. So the group number one is going to be this clear quartz. So beautiful. Clear quartz group number one. And group number two is going to be this aquamarine crystal. This green, green guy. Okay, so group number one, let's see what your person would like to tell you but they can't or they aren't so again we're going to do the goddess tarot because I love them and we're also going to do quite a bit of these oracle cards today because I think that it's going to really help clarify a lot um, of the messages that are going to come through okay so I'm just going to tune in with group number one channel the messages for anyone who's going to see this. Okay, so the first card that came out, we've got two, we've got strength and we've got the ten of pentacles. Okay, so I'm just picking up on this energy. What they would like to tell you is that they really want to be able to provide for you. They really want to be able to be there for you in a really like stable way. And for whatever reason, they're feeling like they can't. They're feeling like not able to um, be like vulnerable and, and to let you know that maybe for whatever reasons they, they haven't been showing up for you in this way. Hmm. Because the other thing we have is strength. So the strength card is associated with Leo. And so you might be dealing with a Leo or they might just have a lot of Leo in their chart. But regardless, I'm picking up that they have a little bit of like a pride issue, like just a bit of one. <laughs> and I think that actually like they really want this connection to be joyful and easy and simple. And yet for like, in a way, they're kind of being their own worst enemy, like their pride is getting in the way of that really happening or that really um, coming to like fruition, I guess, is what I would say. And I think they're really feeling like they're being really hard on themselves about it. And they really want to tell you like, hey, I want to be there for you. I want to like provide for you. I want to like, maybe they're like a little bit of like a traditional, more of a traditional person in terms of partnership. Like, um, I'm, I'm just picking up this sense of like, they want to be all that for you. And for whatever reason, they feel like they're not. And so they feel like they can't come forward to you because they're feeling like bad about themselves, but they're not telling you that they're really not letting that on because that would feel too vulnerable for them. So they're actually kind of pretending like they've got all their stuff together and that they're, you know, really fine by themselves. Oh, okay. So another message just came through and it's about their family. So the Ten of Pentacles is associated with family and maybe it's that they want to start a family with you like down the line, like they see you as like that, like almost like that important to them, if that makes sense. Like they see you as being someone who could really, like they could really settle down with. However, I think that actually their family of origin is currently like causing them a lot of trouble for whatever reasons, enmeshment, codependency, maybe they're like be having to like look after their parents a lot or they've got a lot of siblings that they're dealing with or they just feel like they can't be themselves with their family and they they're really just like not sure how to kind of like reconcile what they want to be with you and 
and what they actually are being with their family. It's a really interesting energy. And I think it's like they know that you see this strength in them and it kind of like confronts them to have to realise like, okay, so like they're having a reflection of, of themselves from you that actually like maybe they've never really had before. Like they've never seen, they've never been been with someone who like really sees them as in their strength and like, I think they're really like grappling with themselves right now around how to take action and how to kind of like be this strength person and let go of their pride and be honest with you and be vulnerable with you but at the same time like they're feeling this pull back with their family and they're really like just I think they're actually really struggling right now and they're not telling you that and for whatever reason and I think it's pride stuff or like you know they have a bit of an, an ego stuff around not, not knowing how to be vulnerable with somebody and, and, and somebody that they care so deeply about and that they know sees them as who they really are. And I'm also picking up a message with this strength card that they really want, they, they really want things to be joyful with you. They want it to be playful and fun and, and that like they are realising like that it's not and they're kind of feeling like they're feeling a bit sorry about that like for you but also for themselves I think I think they're really just trapped in this energy of this pull like this tug and pull back and just really just like grappling with themselves and with their ego stuff hmm let's keep searching okay so we just got the page of wands wow okay so Interesting. We got the Page of Wands, we got the um, Queen of Cups, and we also got the Seven of Swords all came out at once. So the Seven of Swords, it kind of came out in reverse, so I'm going to read this a little bit differently to if it had come out upright. Um, and what I'm picking up on about this energy is that actually they, because this card is around deception, and it's around like trying to get away with something and acting a little bit strategically, and I think that they're actually... Um, lying to themselves that's what's going on and and for that reason yes they probably can't be like super honest with you because they're not being super honest with themselves and again I think it is this kind of like um, a little bit of like an ego issue and like they they think like if they I think that it's a self-protection issue sorry like and I don't mean ego in a bad way because we all have ego and it's like a beautiful representation of our soul in this lifetime that's how I see ego so it's not a bad thing it's just that sometimes we get overly attached to our ego or our or our personality in this life and and we um we forget our soul we forget that we actually continue on after we die or that's you know if you believe in reincarnation believe whatever you want but that's just how I read so yeah I think there's some level or quite a, actually a bit of self-deceit happening and they're trying to get away with it they're trying to kind of like continue in this connection or continue in this separation from you and still keep lying to themselves because they think that's the most protective thing that they can do and unfortunately um they've been comfortable there for a long time you know they've, they've been comfortable there for a long time in this in this deceit to themselves because it's kept them safe and it's kept them where they are and I'm kind of seeing that you've come in with this like page of one's energy and you've just been like this whoosh like you know you've just come in like this fire and you've just like you've started to sort of like burn down their defenses that really weren't serving them and it's a lot for them to kind of take in because again they're trying to preserve this ego sense of self that they're really holding on really tightly to and they're not sure how to kind of like grapple with their who they are like and who their family of origin would like them to be kind of like along with um, how you're kind of like shining a light onto who they truly are and, and it's really like challenging for them and again they're not saying this to you so you're probably looking from the outside and just thinking like what like what are they doing I don't get it because they're not being honest with you because they don't quite know how to be that vulnerable with you yet so this Queen of Cups energy, again, I'm almost reading this as you. It's interesting because I know this reading was about what are they not sort of telling you. And I think what they're not telling you is that they see you as this Queen of Cups. Like they see you as this incredibly intuitive and emotionally intelligent person and that you 
almost have like a psychic sense like I'm picking up like because the queen of cups is, is associated with having psychic gifts and so yes your partner may may be um but I'm not feeling that that's not what I'm reading it as because like when I pick up a card I feel the energy of it and like in this spread it's actually that they see that they see you as this queen of cups and Actually, it's almost a bit intimidating for them because there's nowhere to hide. They feel like they can't hide anywhere. And maybe for like most of their life, they've hidden like with their family. You know, they felt really stable and secure in, in this place of hiding, you know, and they can't hide anymore. And, they, and you're just shining this like really intense truth truthful light and you're like burning down their defenses and they're just sort of like standing there and they feel naked and exposed but and yet they're still not telling you that oh my god I'm feeling how frustrating this must be for you so yeah I'm also seeing with this card that they have a lot of like sexual attraction to you like there's a lot of passion in the connection and that and if you guys are in separation or you know like this this is um this works for any kind of like level of connection you're at. If you're in a relationship, if you're in separation with someone, if you're just starting out with someone, um, or if you just have a crush on someone, it all works, you know? Like, so I'm seeing that they're really sexually attracted to you and they find you like this kind of like very sexual, um, kind of like fiery, like free spirit. Like you just, you just do what you want and you live you live through your creativity and your sexuality and you just channel that always. And I think, again, this is maybe shining a light back to them on stuff that um, they don't feel so comfortable with their sexuality is what I'm picking up. And they think that you really are. And maybe you're not. Like, maybe you're not even, but it's just this energy that you give off. So I think they're like, oh, well, I can't bring up, you know, that I'm a bit insecure about A, B or C because... The person that I'm, you know, so attracted to is just this, like, page of one's energy of just, like, fire and, like, you know, like, just the personification of fire. That's what the page of one's is. And to me, fire is creativity, but it's also sexuality and it's passion and it's lust, you know? Interesting. So I think with this um, Queen of Cups energy is, like, they think that you can read their mind as well um, because this is the again, the psychic card, they kind of think, like, they think you can just read their mind, and I think, like, they feel a bit exposed, even when they're not exposed at all, and you have no idea what, really what's going on, you know what I mean? Like, I think they're kind of just, like, making a lot of assumptions, and they're not checking in with you about it, and you're kind of, like, yes, you're very emotionally intuitive, and yes, you're really, um, you know, you do have these psychic gifts, maybe it's clear, sentience, maybe it's clear, voyance whatever it is but I'm I'm seeing that maybe like there's just a miscommunication happening here of like and you're ending up feeling confused while they're ending up just kind of like hiding a lot from you unfortunately okay yeah there's a lot of hiding happening in this connection and maybe with you as well like it can go both ways you know what I mean a lot of the time like it is a mirror back to your own kind of like hiding stuff for yourself or hiding stuff from them as well but I think that because this card came out in reverse I think that it's really a, it's really about them hiding like they're really hiding from themselves even if that makes sense okay interesting so Interesting. So we just got two more wands cards. So we have the seven of wands and we have the nine of wands. So the seven of wands is basically around um, kind of like facing a challenge in life. Like you can read it differently depending on the context. So in this, uh, when we're answering the question of what are they not telling you or what do they feel like they can't tell you? I think that they're actually finding things really challenging right now. They're feeling really overwhelmed. They're feeling really, um, they're feeling like almost like they have to fight every day just to keep going. And that because of all these like defenses that are just crumbling in your connection, because you're just like, yeah, like I just see you as this like fire energy that's just like burning down stuff for them. And I think they're really, um, they're not letting on how, how much, um, 
difficulty they're in. I think they're actually in quite a lot of pain. And maybe, again, they're not actually, like, acknowledging that for themselves. So it might not even be this thing of, like, you know, they're being really, like, deceitful with you. I think it is just a, a little bit of, like, they're not they're not being honest with themselves so like they can't really be honest with you can they and that's a shame and like when I picked up this energy I really felt this like it's like yeah you can see in this imagery that that this you know this warrior woman like she's fighting and she's standing up for herself but I think I keep I get this feeling like it's like she feels or they the person you're with feels like it just stuff keeps coming like it's like this never-ending tide of stuff that they have to fight and they're getting tired you know they're getting tired and part of that tiredness is that they need to let go of some of those defenses that aren't serving them anymore but I think that um I think that they really would benefit from being vulnerable with you or, or if maybe you have to be the initiator initiator in that because perhaps they don't feel like you know perhaps they're just feeling so overwhelmed by this thing after thing after thing that's coming at them that's what I'm feeling and they're just like fighting and fighting and fighting and really trying to uphold these like defenses around them and um maybe you just like need to almost like give them permission to just like let go and fall apart and like let them know that you can hold that space and that you see them you know so this nine of wands is telling me to be patient I think you need to be patient with them like I think what they would really like if they could speak their mind they would say like please be patient with me I know I'm being a bit aloof or like <laughs> invulnerable or whatever or I'm really struggling with like my stuff right now but I think they really are they have a really good heart like I think like it's so interesting that this card came out in reverse because I think if it hadn't like maybe I would be like get out because I think they're not being fully honest but I think again this is happening within themselves and that um you're seeing the truth and and it's to be patient with that and even if it's just like you know if you're questioning whether to give up on this connection or not I think don't yet because I think there's still more to come forwards and I think they will come forwards to you and really like um vocalize some of this stuff I think that it's just maybe they've never even done that before you know what I mean like maybe they've never even like these defenses have been up so sort of like tightly around them that they've never even kind of like had the opportunity, you know? So I think like they also see you as like this really patient person, you know, and, and someone who is like, who is capable of holding space. And again, I think that terrifies them because it's honest, you know? And I think they're, they're really used to people that would just, collude with their their own self-deception I think that's what they're used to okay that's a pretty heavy energy to be honest like definitely don't underestimate how much pain they're in with that they're in a real um self battle is what I would describe it as okay so we're gonna do some goddess cards to just clarify like what is group number one's person not saying? What would they like to tell you but they can't? This one came out. It's interesting. It says, Guide and children. You are good at helping, counselling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Okay, so interesting. Like, I always read this as the inner child. Maybe this is a person, like maybe your person works with children or something, or like they have a lot of responsibilities to do with children in the family, or um, yeah, like, but I, I will ultimately will always come back to the inner child with this card, and I think it's really about them. Um, I think what they would like to say to you is, like, can you help me? Can you guide me? Because my inner child is in pain and I know you see my inner child and I know you can help me heal that. Because I think they see you as someone who's done a lot of healing 
and they have like they feel a bit like um oh sorry my computer just <laughs> uh they feel a bit like that they're, they're a bit in the dark around how to deal with this with their inner child even if like they on the surface level seem like someone who's like again I think they put up this front of like they have their shit together but they don't okay and I think like you need to be as gentle as you can with them with that and and almost treat them like a child you know like a child who's lied to you or something right you're not gonna kind of like call them out in a really harsh way maybe you just like open up a space where like you give them the opportunity to be honest with you. That's what I'm feeling. Because again, I think like don't underestimate how vulnerable they really are. Even if they're not, they're not putting that forward and you're not seeing, like they're not letting you see that. I think that's actually a massive deception and, and they might fall apart in like an instant. Do you know what I mean? So maybe don't go in there like really... <laughs> you know <laughs> like that's definitely something yeah we all could remember okay oh wow okay so we have be strong this this is like oh my god we've got two strength cards because this is strength in the tarot and like this is basically the strength card in the oracle deck so it says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome wow so again, I actually, I think this could relate to both of you, but I think this is honestly, again, how, like this one, I think is how they view you and they see you as this incredibly strong person. And I think it actually like makes them feel, again, a bit exposed into like their own stuff in a way, like, you know what I mean? And, and they see you as just like, yeah, so strong. See, there's like two lions here and like this woman in the middle is kind of just like taming those lines and I think like the person you're thinking of really wants to tell you how incredibly strong they see you as and and how they really would like your help in in finding their own strength but I think again because of this other strength card that came out there's a little bit of an ego issue with them to really get down to that vulnerability to really be able to say that to you. Okay, we're gonna do some angel cards to finish up, all right? I feel like almost a little bit emotional reading this group, which is why I keep just saying like, don't, like really don't underestimate the pain that your person's in, the pain your person's going through. And if you're in separation then, and they're trying to pretend like they're, they're doing fine, they're not. They're really not. They're in a lot of pain and, and for whatever reason, this just came out. What? Um, <laughs> okay, so this person sees you as their soulmate. They want to tell you they think you're their soulmate. And again, maybe they haven't even told, like, allowed themselves to realize that yet. Like, that that's part of why they're grappling so hard with this stuff. It's like that they've got such a push and pull energy, but like this feeling for them is undeniable. And and I think, like, again, sometimes with like true love and like with soulmate connections, we have to be patient with it because it's it's a lot of. Um, Often a lot of past life stuff is coming up for one or the other and usually in connections like we take turns to deal with stuff so it's like one person's up while the other person's down. So sometimes I think, you know, we really need to again like just persevere and realise that like things can be worked through and it's okay. <laughs> um, I think as well... If you're in separation with someone right now and, and you're not sure how they're viewing you, they see you as their soulmate and I think they're absolutely distraught if, the, if they feel like they've lost you, you know? So I think if you're questioning like, what, should I reach out? Should I say something? Because I'm sensing you feel like this too. Um, I think you should. I think it's indicated that you, you guys need to communicate so that you can get back into that joyful state of being together. So the final card that came out was meditation. Wow, 
yeah, that makes sense. So I think maybe like, um, I think it's indicated for you both to meditate really. <laughs> like perhaps you could um, meditate just to feel a little bit more clarity, you know, just to feel a bit more like you're, you're sure of what to do or you're sure of how to approach the situation in a new way. And definitely it's indicated that your person, it would be really great if they could meditate and just allow some of that truth to come in. Because honestly, I think when we meditate, that's when the truth comes in for us, you know. Cool. All right. So thank you, group one. Just got to like shake that energy off a bit because that was pretty heavy. But I do see that, you know, there's a, like a really good chance that you guys can reconnect and find your joy again. Okay, all right, thank you so much, group one. I'm gonna move to group two now. So the aquamarine crystal, the special guy. All right, so, whew, gotta shake that group one off. Okay, group two, what, we're already coming out. What would they like to tell you but can't? Oh my God, of course. We have the six of wands. Ah, it's so funny. I always feel like this comes up anyway <laughs> so the six of wands is like they the six of wands is related to like public recognition and like victory so I think like whether you guys are in separation or whether you actually are with this person like they would like a little bit of recognition from you but they don't know quite how to get that and I think like something else I'm picking up on straight away I'm going to come back to that six of wands, but this came out in reverse, this queen of pentacles. So I'm sensing that your person isn't taking care of themselves. And if you're in separation and you're not sure what's going on for them, like they're not taking care of themselves. They're not, they're not doing that. Um, and I think that's quite interesting. There's, there's a sense of like, maybe like you felt like you were over-functioning for this person quite a lot and you, um... And you were getting a bit frustrated with that because the other card that so four cards are here but the other card that came out is the justice card interesting so i really am feeling like you got really fed up with them or you are really fed up with them at this point in your life and you just like were like okay something has to change because like i can't just keep carrying all this weight for you all the time like i can't be your mother or your father like you have to be that for yourself i'm your partner you know so I think like you're just like waiting for the justice to be dished out and it is and it may have already been like maybe you guys are in separation and, and you're not quite sure what's happening but I think your person like they really want to reconnect with you and like feel like almost like they have victory like yes I've got my person back like yes because I think like what came up for you a lot in your connection was um, the theme of nourishment. And I think like one or the other of you, or maybe both of you, um, I think a little bit of both of you were like seeking too much nourishment from each other and not doing it enough from yourself, like not finding that enough in yourself. And so I'm seeing that like there's perhaps been a separation and even if you're in a relationship, like maybe there's just been a pullback from you both and you're both like doing your own thing a little bit more. And I think that's really created the space for um, like a true, a truer sense of nourishment to come in. And I think that is truly justice. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so with this three of wands, it's telling me that like um, there's like a sense of community for forming around you right now and you feel like quite safe within your you know you feel like your soul family is coming in and I think um I think your person like I think actually your person might be like stalking you on social media or stalking you like not maybe in real life but like some amount of like lurking happening and they're not being honest with how like actually obsessed they, they are still with you um and I think like what they would like to tell you is they want to be seen with you. They want to be like, they want to show you off a little bit. Like they think you're so sexy and like hot and they want to just like be seen by your side and like really feel like they can like be like, yeah, this is my person. You see this? This is my person, you know? And I'm seeing like maybe this, like, it's interesting with this queen of pentacles in reverse. It's like, I, yeah again the nourishment thing came up I think that what they want to tell you is like that they have 
they're sorry. They're sorry actually that that they asked so much for you or, for, or they took so much from you. Like I think you are a really giving person in, in this connection and like I think there is a little bit of a pride issue happening for this person in that they're not quite sure how to like be vulnerable and say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry because I, I really see now how much you were there for me and how much you gave to me and I, and I didn't really reciprocate that in the way that I would have liked to. That's what they like to say, but they're just, they're not quite there yet. <laughs> and I think you've been really focusing on like your sense of community and like your friendship group and like fostering a home within yourself or like actually a, an actual home somewhere and that they're seeing like, like I said, they're lurking on the sidelines and like seeing how well you're doing and they want back in. Or if you guys are in a connection, like they are really, really attracted to you. It's just like they, I think there's like this sense of like, they feel like they're not good enough for you actually. Oof, yeah, they don't feel like they're good enough for you. They, they think you're, um, they think you're actually, oof. That's really harsh. I, I just really felt that like in my heart when that came through. So this just came out the hermit. So yeah, I think like there's been a sense of like you're both doing some soul searching right now. You're both needing some time alone to really reevaluate what you want from this connection or if you want to continue this connection or not. And maybe you've actually gotten to a place recently where you're, you're kind of like ready yeah, like you've got more of like a sense of community and home around you and like you're celebrating life in a new way and like they're kind of like seeing that and they're kind of like realizing that you could move on. Like I think you're at a point now where you could take it or leave it. You're kind of, I think for a long time you were really grasping after them and really wanting them for your nourishment, for your soul and now you're actually um, nourishing your own soul. You really are and I think that they can even if like you guys are in separation they can energetically pick up that you you're shifting and you're changing and they want some of that <laughs> and like maybe you maybe eventually like you you're gonna turn around and just be like nah I'm good you know like maybe they kind of like guided you back into yourself in a way but I think at the same time like yeah let's keep let's keep pulling cards and see like what what else they would like to say to you and maybe like if they're going to come forwards or not. Okay. So we got the five of cups. This is telling me that they could come forwards, but they're still looking back. Like, so that's what's blocking them from kind of like speaking to you right now is like some past trauma or the past within your actual relationship. I think they feel a bit, um, what's the word? Like they feel a bit caught up with that still and maybe there needs to be some amount of communication happening there for you both to to move forwards um, into more of a union. But yeah, there's definitely their past is what's blocking them right now and I think they need to do some healing around that and that for whatever reason they're not um, and that they're a bit, um, they're a bit blocked off actually from what it is that's blocking them. Like they're actually not aware that it's their past. They're a bit in the dark around it and they're sort of just like focusing a lot of their attention onto you. And I think maybe they're pretending like, you know, they're not that interested or they're really busy or they've got other shit going on, but it's not true. They're actually just thinking about you all the time and really like wondering like, what did I, what went wrong? Like, how do I sort of like make this available to me again kind of thing because they can feel you pulling away and they're not they're not happy about it but they're still again like not taking that action to really like prevent that from happening so it's like they're kind of digging their own hole a bit okay so we've got the seven of pentacles but it came out in reverse so I don't think they're investing in this connection and I think they don't know how to um Maybe they don't know what you want, they don't know what you need, maybe you haven't told them that, but they feel a bit confused about how to invest, invest in you again. And they would like to, but they just feel, like I said, blocked from that for some reason. I think as well, like maybe what they, I think as well, like they realise that 
you gave them a lot, you invested a lot of your time and money, uh, well maybe not money, but maybe money, <laughs> you invested a lot of your time and your love and your energy into this connection and they realizing that actually um, they didn't, like they were a bit selfish or a little bit um, self-indulgent with that and they kind of were just like complacent to let you do kind of all the work now that you're kind of like stepping into more of your own power and you're not doing that anymore they're kind of like a little bit like i don't know what to do see like she's just like sitting on her head like she's everything's been turned upside down for her and i think she's just like or they are sorry <laughs> i just was referring to this person i think they are just a bit um a bit lost at the moment actually and and they are a bit not clarifying in in their own minds like what it is that they need and and I think they just keep sort of like reaching for you because they're like, that's what I need, that's what I need. But actually they can't come back into the connection until they've done their own work, you know what I mean? And I think they're, they're a little bit avoiding that and they want to kind of just like jump right back in with you, like any chance that you would give them. But that you're a little bit wiser now and you're a little bit like, hmm, maybe not. Wow. <laughs> Should we do some more? Okay, <laughs> King of Swords came out. So this card is about truth. So I think like they want to be really truthful with you. That's what they would like. They'd really like to be truthful with you and to tell you how they like you have just taken their heart in, in, their, in your hand. Like you've taken their heart basically. You have their heart, but they're not being honest about that. They're not saying that. And um and they need to for this to work so <laughs> it's a bit of a stalemate and I think maybe you're both a little bit like this king of swords energy like maybe you both want to be a little bit in control or you both want to take leadership of the connection and maybe like you both a little bit stubborn actually so it's like one person maybe has to um almost like let go or, or let the other person lead do you know what I mean like someone has to take the leadership position because I think you're both currently trying to and therefore you're both like stalemating each other if that makes sense like someone has to kind of like use the wisdom of surrender so that the other person can come forwards and surrender is an act of power you know if it's done strategically you know what I mean like it's almost like you're making the first move um and then the truth will come out okay Okay, let's do some goddess cards for y'all. What is group number two person not telling them? Leap of faith. <laughs> Says, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. This is what they want. They want to do this, but they're not doing it. Because of this five of cups energy, because they've got all this baggage, it's weighing them down, it's from their past and they don't want to deal with it and they just want to like jump straight back in with you, but it's not, that's not fair, you know what I mean, like this, this justice card is going to make sure that whatever transpires between you in the future, it's fair. So I think like this leap of faith is telling me like they want to take a leap of faith with you, they want to take another risk and like make it like see if it can work out and I think like they're scared because they don't know if you want that or not and so like I think that one of you has to take this leap and it might have to be you because I'm picking up that you might be a little bit more emotionally intelligent or like not that that's not in a hierarchical way but you know like you're watching this video and like you're doing investigations in yourself around um the connection so I think <laughs> yeah so I think that actually they really want this they want to take it they want to try it again and if you guys are in still in a relationship but maybe it's been like the communication has broken down like they want to they want to keep going like they don't want this they don't want this relationship to end so it's really up to you what you want at this point you know all right we'll do some more goddess cards Medicine woman, <laughs> you are a channel for divine healing power. Okay, so this is how they see you. Maybe they've never really expressed this to you before. Maybe they've never really expressed to you how powerful they think you are and how 
incredibly healing they find just being in your presence is. I think that's what they would like to tell you. They'd like to just like pour their heart out to you actually, but I think what's stopping them is a fear that, that it won't be reciprocated, that you won't be interested and that they're just like not, they, they want to be vulnerable, but they just don't know how to be vulnerable really. Um, but you're like, I think you're this incredible like healer, um, even if it's just like with the person that you're with, you know, even if it's not a profession, like I think that you um, hold space for people in a way that this person has never felt before. They, they feel that and they really like, they really wish that they could tell you how mean, how meaningful that is for them. But for some reason, like they're not coming forward with that. And the reason is that they're afraid of rejection. Okay, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target and you'll make your mark. So this to me is saying like, you need to get intentional about what you want. And then I think it's gonna allow, you know, the bullseye to be hit, do you know what I mean? I think that there's kind of like, yeah, like there's this stalemate energy in your connection right now where it's like you're both like waiting for the other person to make the first step. And I think that you're actually the one, and even if you don't really realize this, but the other person sees this, like I think you're the one that actually has more power. You know how to harness your inner power more. And so um, I think you need to be the one that kind of like takes the first shot, if that makes sense, and, and really is like, hey, look, this is how it is, or hey, look, this is what I want, or this is what I need from you going forwards, or something like that. Because, um, yeah, they see you as this really powerful person that can really manifest what it is that they want. And maybe they think you have a lot of options. Maybe actually they think that you could almost have anyone you want. Um, and so they feel like a bit insecure about that. And, and they're just like, oh, well, why would they choose me? Like, I'm picking up on that as well. Okay, we're going to end with some angel cards, y'all. What is group number two's person not saying? Balance. Okay, they want to have a balanced connection with you moving forwards. They, they realised that it wasn't that. They realised it was really imbalanced and that I think you were actually doing a lot more than they were. And I think they feel a bit shitty about that. They don't really feel really good about themselves in that way. Even though, again, they're not saying that. They're not letting that on, which is annoying, I know. But that's that's how they feel. And, and they want to move forward with you in a balanced way. And they see your worth. And they see how incredible you actually are. Because I think you really are attracting, like, a community around you that's, like, showing you that right now. And you feeling, like, better and better about yourself every day. And I think like they they want to give to you more. They want to be able to nourish you the way you've nourished them. Okay, group two, that's all I have for you. I hope that was helpful at some level. And yeah, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>